All right, guys, what's going on? Varric here. Uh, here's the second part of the video I wanted to show you about Pluggy. Um, again, I'm gonna show you how I use Pluggy, some tips and tricks I learned along the way, and a couple things just to bear in mind when you're using Pluggy, uh, a couple things to avoid. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll pick up right where I left off, right? I showed you at the end how to take a character and um, you know, put it in a file so you can email that file to yourself. So say you want to like do it on, you know, do some testing on a different computer. Maybe you're on your desktop, you want to go to your laptop. So uh, I'm going to do that here. So this is actually my barbarian file. So this is the one I've been working on for a while. Um, I'm going to put this right into the save folder, right? So here are all my saved characters. Get rid of that one. And I'm going to just zip that right into there. Easy does it. And now when I open up Pluggy, he'll be right there. There he is. So this is my barbarian that you guys have probably seen the videos on at this point. If you haven't, go to my YouTube page and check out the videos. Um, I got some pretty cool builds up. Uh, this right now is a Berserker build, but I did a couple like, you know, obviously there's the Whirlwind Barbarian, there's the Double Swing, um, there's a Thrower I did. But anyway, this is him. Uh, this is not a build guide, so I'm not going to show you him too much, but <clears throat> I will show you how I use him, so or how I built him. With Pluggy, right, I, I didn't really go into the shared stash, but let's go into it now. So you have your shared stash, which you see right here. So see, I'm on the shared stash, right? Well, I'm on the shared stash. Uh, if I go around here, I can, I can show you all these things, right? This is the shared stash, and if I click here, I'm on my personal stash, okay? So here's the personal stash. Um, a quick aside, when you are putting things in your personal stash, sometimes when you're putting them in, they disappear, right? You might put it in and it goes away and you're like, oh my God, what happened to it? It's it's a bug, it, it's there. So when you when you leave the game and come back, it will be there. So that is just a quick thing. Uh, if it disappears when you put it in your, share, your personal stash, don't freak out, it still exists. Uh, you just have to reload. Uh, all right, let's go to our shared stash. So again, you have like everything you can think of, right? I mean, you can just see for yourself how much stuff you have. You have a ton of maps, ton of maps. <clears throat> Quick aside again, do not exit your stash with these maps open, right? This is a commonly known bug. Uh, I actually think they put it in here. Um, anyway, I can't see it. No, that's fine. Uh, it, it's there. I'm not reading fast enough, but essentially what's happening is there's so much data that the game is trying to process in this stash page um, that it just crashes your game. So if you leave the if you leave the shared stash and go try to do a map or something, at some point you may like disconnect. So uh, I usually just kind of at this point remember to just kind of do this and leave it there. Good to go. Um, all right. So going through here's your maps, all your materials, uh, all this stuff, right? Quick crash course, rejuvenation potions, um, tokens if you want to do tokens. Quest stuff for whatever reason, more runes. <clears throat> A lot of jewels, right? You have like 1540s, you have, you know, giant ED jewels, like crazy stuff. You just look through it, have fun, um, marvel at all the amazing jewels that you can find that you'll never find in the game. <laughs> um, random rings, random rares, some crafted, some corrupted, not corrupted. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into detail about everything. This is all crafting stuff, uh, just to kind of show you like what the what the recipe is. Um, go through that. All your uniques, unique rings, amies, all your facets, your charms. Uh, these are all the unique gear, right? See all them. All the weapons. Keep it going. All right. <clears throat> all your sets are all there. And last, uh, you have your Uber items, right? Your declone items, rather. So these are cool. Check them out. If you've never seen them before, take a look. They're fun to fun to look at. Uh, then you have all your rune words, right? So they pre-make the rune words. They're, max, they're all max rolled, so that's super nice. Uh, they do have the empty bases with a couple options that you can roll yourself, so that's kind of nice as well. Um, they try to stick to like what you would normally have, so like Infinity is going to be... Um, put in a, put in a, right, F thing, because obviously your Merc is going to use it. Sorry, sources, I know the cool thing is to use your own Infinity now, but you can also just make it yourself. Again, you can get the bases. Um, charms, they're also organized. You look down here and there's, there's like an organization. Um, 
So it was all your skillers, right? <clears throat> um, here's just a couple different things that you're not necessarily going to find in the game, but it's just a way to help make your build. Um, one thing I will show you really quick is this page. So this has all the 4% large charms. Uh, I did this here just to show that it's like a realistic thing. Um, but what you could also do is, <clears throat> right, so if I'm trying to simulate, so all this added up is 70, uh, 72%, right? So it's four times whatever, it adds up to 72%. So if I wanted to have 72% fire damage skillers, I would just do this. All right, is that three, damn it, two, All right? So 40, 60, 72, okay? So that allows me to pretend that I have a full stash of 4% large charms. Why do I wanna do that? Because, you know, if I wanted to, if I didn't feel like taking the time to slam all these pieces of gear to get like 10% increased attack speed, 10% increased attack speed, right? Three socketed. Um, well, this one's not necessarily, it's not a good example, but yeah, say I didn't want to spend the time to get this 10% increased attack speed slam. You can then go and find, and I only know where this is because I've been doing this forever. Um, you can then go and find the increased attack speed, a small charm, right? Again, obviously this doesn't exist in the game, but you can, so say I wanted to simulate the fact that I have IS slammed on both of these, right? I can put a 20 in, right? And I can put that there. So the nice thing about this is it saves you space to put more things into your charm inventory so that you can play around with the build, play around with your characters. Um, I think I even think there's like a plus one skiller in here somewhere. There's like a plus one, two, three, four, five, six skills. I mean, again, this it has everything. It's for you to look around and have fun with, um, but I'm not going to tell you everything right now. Um, so that's that. Uh, you can you can play around with it. Yeah, you can get like mono leech as well. Put that in there. But all right, <clears throat> that's that real quick. Um, I think I went through everything. Yeah, there's bases here at the very end. Um, I think that's the last thing. Yeah, so that's it. Next up. Okay, so here's what we do if we want to try to target a slam, right? So if I want to get three socketed on this halberds, right? And I, I really want to get it and it's going to bother me if I don't get it. And, you know, in, in beta, you can easily do that. You know, I'm going to go on to a different character just to... Um, not mess around on him, go on to her. Yeah, so she's got the same. Right, so say you say you want to uh, target a slam. Okay, so I want to, why don't we just get like a, something we have to actually look for. Um, let's get a Mang Song. Cause I know one of my buddies uh, was asking me how to target slam a Mang Song. So let's get it. There it is. So here's Mang Song. Right, so remember, I took this out of the shared stash. Now, if I save the game and exit right now, it will no longer be in the shared stash, it'll be in my inventory. However, if I do something and I take this shared stash and I make it read only, if I leave the game, watch what happens. Could not create the shared save file. What that is saying is, if this is read only, I cannot update this. All right, so if I went back to where my staffs are, there it is. So now I've essentially duped the item. Don't worry, it's not illegal, you're on single player, This is you're supposed to be able to do this stuff. So I've essentially duped the item. Now, I could continuously do this, you know, do the same thing over and over and over and over and over, but you're sitting there thinking like, I gotta do all this and, and have to arrow through all these and overwrite it, you know, that's gonna be so frustrating. So I, I found a better way to do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way to the beginning. You're gonna take these, you're gonna put them in here, but here's what you're gonna do. Don't exit out of this, keep this up. Seriously, you wanna keep this up, don't hit okay. You're just gonna go read only again, apply. Now it's not read only. Now, if I leave the game, it will not give me the warning and it will actually save what I told it to save, right? And because I, remember it's still in there because I never took that last one out, Right, so you want to make sure you're not just doing it and then and essentially putting it in the beginning because then this will go away, right? You take it out, you reset it real quick, make sure it goes back, um, and then change the change it to, re to uncheck the read-only, and you can go back to your beginning, put it in there. So remember, it's saved in there now. So I'm going to change this to read-only again, right? Because now I can take these out, I can leave, it gives me the, it gives me the error, 
And there they are again. All right, I can do it again. Okay, I can do it again. I can do it as many times as I want. Now, you're probably saying, all right, so now you can do it two times at a time. That's kind of annoying. You still have to do it over and over and over. But what if I do this? And I do this. Right, so now I'm telling the game, I want you to save what I just put in there. And the game says, okay, I will. Well, now you tell, all right, well, I don't want you to save it anymore. I want, I want to get these out and I want them to still be in there. Right, so I changed it to now read only. Give me the error, come back in. Boom, there they all are. So I'm going to put them all back. Now I've essentially created a stash full in only a matter of minutes so that when I want to <clears throat> actually start getting all these here, I'm going to, I'm going to take out that because this is just a little, a little tip. I like to, I don't like to have to change pages. So I'll, I'll throw a little world stone shard in there. All right. I'll save it there because I made it, took it off read only. I'm going to put it back on read only. Now this is saved, right? It's read only. This will never change. As many times as you take stuff out of here, leave the game, it will never change. So I'm going to get a whole stash full. I'm going to put that one in there. I'm going to put that in there. Boom. I'm going to leave the game one more time. Come back in. There it all is, right? Now I have the ability to slam this as many. All right. Well, there's a six socket. Well, that didn't take us too long. Um, but again, it, say I didn't get that. I can just continuously. Maybe I want to get plus one skills. I can just keep going, going, going as many times as I like. Right, trying to get that one plus skills. Um, you, can, you can reload, and again. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and do this over and over and over. But say you know, say I went through all these. Uh, I threw them all on the ground because they're all trash rolls, and I want to get it again. Remember, I have read only on, so I can just go right back in. There they all are. So I get a full reset every time. You can do this with anything you want. Okay, you can go. Um, here, and one more thing. Once you once you do get what you want, like say I finally hit it, sweet. I don't want anything in there anymore. Drop it all on the floor. Take off read only. Save the game. And there you go. You're done, right? You got your Mang Song, you're good to go, okay? You can do this with, with whatever you want. So say you wanna start doing some crafting or something like that, right? Um, sure, you can go gamble the base if you want, but usually like if it's a, it's a base, if it's a base that I don't think is sold, like I think a flying axe you can't really buy, um, I'll usually just go gamble until I find a flying axe. Um, where is it? Now it's gonna take me forever, of course. Uh, let's pretend I wanted throwing knives. Um, now remember, this is only a level one character, so I'm not gonna go start crafting with, with these throwing knives, but it's the same process, right? I'm all free only, I can save it in there, I can change it back to read only and I can just take this out as many times as I want and just repeat the cycle, right? So that is that is how you get the slam you want. That is how you can infinitely craft um, over and over and over and over. Your freaking hands are gonna hurt from crafting all the crafts you're gonna do. Um, and once you get that craft, then you do the same exact process. Once you get that sweet ED craft, you do the same process. You save it, make sure it's not on read only, save it where it is in the stash, change it to read only and pull them out each each time, right? And just keep pulling them out. Now you have all these crafts you can slam, right? So when you do get that craft, don't slam it right away. Make sure you save it, make sure you have it so you can repeat it, so you can recycle it, so you can do it over and over and over until you get the slam you want. So that's the cool thing about crafting uh, in Pluggy. Um, I don't know why my game stopped working, but <clears throat> let's see. Did I go over all of the things, the errors, the stuff that I uh, went through. So, you know, we talked about how to get the slams. Um, you know, we talked about how to use the charms, all that stuff. Oh, we'll, we'll go into skills and stuff. So, um, yeah, here's your stats. You can mess around with your stats. The only difference is here is you can hold an alt to unassigned staffs. You can also hold in shift to do it by 20. So see, I can, I can do it by 20. I can do it by one, but yeah. So you can actually unassign, reassign. Um, you can unassign, reassign here like individually, but you can just reset your skill points, right? So this just unlearns everything and I can go again and right reset everything. 
Bum, bum, bum. So this is my berserk build. I think that's it. Get some more iron skin. One more damage. We'll go damage for fun. Um, yeah, so that's that. I think that was it, right? You have your all. You have your merce. Not a whole lot to show with that. You just get them gear from from where, from the stash. Um, I forget if I showed this. No, I did show this uh, on how to reset your shared stash. Um, so you just again, if you miss something from your shared stash. Uh, also, you're gonna you're gonna get this little guy right here. Uh, you can delete that. This just shows up when it has that error and it can't save the file. It just creates this little extra one, but you don't need it, um, so don't worry about it. You don't you don't have to delete it. It can sit there. It doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, I, I also showed you how to uh, re get your shared stash, right? So if you do mess something up and you need a new shared stash, just go to the download and and put it back in, and you're done. Um, see, just do it like that. Replace. Ah, shoot. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> sorry but yeah you replace it and you're finished um but that is it guys in terms of how to do pluggy uh that is the biggest thing as it as it goes i, I made sure to tell you not to leave your stash on this page um yeah that's that's pretty much all i have used pluggy for you can do that with all different builds you can try out different things uh so have at it have some fun with it Try different builds, make different builds, do some cool stuff. And of course, let me know. Let me know what you find out. Um, send me some cool builds that you, you may have done. Uh, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please add it in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my other videos, um, please like, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget, I do a lot of videos. So I do a lot of like, you know, Barbarian stuff, Flame Bellows stuff. I did a couple D4 reactions that you can check out. So just go to my channel and, and see what you think. Um, but that's it, guys. Hope you all have a good day. Take care.